Okay, so today I'm going to shoot a short video on uh, caulking the crown molding and show my technique. I've got a uh, GoPro up there so I can get some close-up shots of what I'm actually doing. I'm using a 40-year uh, rated DAP Alex caulk. I buy it by the case at Home Depot. It's about two-something tube. Um, I had pretty good luck with this. So the first step is to caulk all the joints. And then the second step is to come back and smooth it out with your finger um, in a glove. So, without further ado, let's get after it. Now there's two ways to do this. You can also push the caulk, which results in a little bit less caulk going up. And then I just put a dab of caulk on each of the spots where there's a nail hole. And then I try to do everything I can reach because it means that I don't have to get up here as much. there and that's all I can really reach from up here yeah I can't really get into that corner with the camera in there so let me go ahead and get some gloves now if you're wondering what gloves I use I'm using gloves from Harbor Freight they are hardy brand five mil nitrile gloves I get them for six dollars for a box of 100 so it's about 12 cents a pair of gloves they work fantastic and um, I just wait for them to go on sale and then I buy five, six boxes at a time. So I also, um, the paper towels I use are the Shop Towel brand paper towels. This is a heavy duty blue paper towel. You probably could use regular paper towels. I just happen to really like these and so I use them. And Basically, I run my finger along and that, that gives me a pretty good caulk joint. Now, this is not going to be a perfect surface finish, but that's not the goal. The goal was just to kind of fill this in and then I'll come back and touch it up with paint. Um, and the combination of the caulk and the paint gives a finish that is good enough and it hides the imperfections because nobody's going to get up here and give this a detailed look. Now that said, I try to get as good of a finish as I can. So I appreciate you taking time to watch my video and I hope you found this interesting. I'm going to go ahead and stop the film and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this and then I'll shoot another video of touching it up with uh, an inexpensive chip brush.